बहुत दिक्कत है मेरे को आंखें देखकर बात करनी पड़ती है हाँ कौन क्या है क्वेश्चन Thank you. Well, as you said, I hardly come to any event, and now I'm more accessible and I'm more visible. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, it's all about Britain and UK. Tell us your, you know, did you ever went over there? Your memory? Yes, um, I we shot a portion of Dave D in in Britain. Uh, I have done uh, an, uh, a live televised film for BBC Three. And Birmingham is well. I was felicitated by the mayor of Birmingham, so I have some connection to Britain, and so I was more than happy to take the invite and come for this event. What do you say about the whole initiative taken by Britain? You know, Britain people. I think it's great. I think a country that makes uh, the environment friendly to shoot a film. I think a country that uh, gives tax benefits and breaks for producers to make films. Uh, it just is an opportunity for all sorts of people to make films. Okay, what's happening in professional front? You know, on professional front. Now, well, uh, I'm reading scripts. I'll be acting in a couple of films we'll be shooting this year, and looking to produce my next as well. Uh, if you can tell us a little bit about the next film, <laughs> um, I'd like to tell you more, but right now um, they're all in the works. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is a big a uh, very uh, relationship which has uh, developed because of movies in a, a different avatar you can say that that india britain are on a common platform because of movies because uh, britain is a beautiful country and a lot of people actually uh, producers and directors uh, they love uh, you know uh, british countryside or uh, britain as such you know and um, in last uh, so many years so many films have been shot uh, there you know so it is because of the beauty and uh, britain and bollywood have really maintained a relationship which is which is very uh, very strong and uh, you see lovely lovely locations in the films हाँ ये भी है देखिए पहले क्या है इतना कोई ब्रिटेन में इतनी पिक्चर थोड़ा रिलीज हुआ करती थी असल में लेकिन आज जो हिंदी फिल्म जो है वो मेन लेस्टर स्क्वायर में आप हिंदी फिल्म के पोस्टर्स देख सकते हैं हिंदी फिल्म के एक्टर्स जाके अपने प्रीमियर करते हैं वहाँ पर या लोगों तक जो है वो ज़्यादा फिल्म पहुँची है वहाँ पर आज इतनी बड़ी एक्चुअली बॉलीवुड की फिल्में जो हैं वो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ब्रिटेन बहुत चलती हैं असल में ओके सतीश जी आपकी भी फिल्म आ रही है गैंग ऑफ दोस्त और उसको काफ़ी सराहाया जा रहा है प्रोमो को काफ़ी अप्रिशिएट करा जा रहा है आज अगर प्रोमो अप्रिशिएट हो रहा है और म्यूजिक अप्रिशिएट हो रहा है तो आधी जंग तो आप समझो कि जीती जा चुकी है आ, बस अब आगे देखना है पिक्चर बहुत अच्छी बनी है बड़ी फनी पिक्चर है मैंने बहुत दिनों बाद कॉमेडी फिल्म बनाई है कॉमेडी फिल्म तो एक्चुअली मैंने कभी बनाई नहीं थी तो बड़ी मैड एक वैकी कॉमेडी है लेकिन जिसमें कि थोड़ा एक सोशल टच भी बहुत अच्छा है जो मेरी हर पिक्चर के अंदर होता है तो गैंग ऑफ घोष के अंदर आपको इतने जबरदस्त एक्टर्स देखने को मिलेंगे हाँ अलग इसलिए है क्योंकि 
और तकरीबन इंसान जो है वो भूतों से डरते हैं लेकिन हमारे भूत जो हैं वो इंसानों से डरते हैं असल में बहुत दिनों बाद फिल्म लेके आ रहा हूँ असल में बीच में गैप हो गया था तेरे संग के बाद मैंने कोई फिल्म नहीं बनाई है लेकिन मेरे को लगता है कि ये फिल्म जो है बड़ी एक्साइटिंग है और लोग इसको बहुत पसंद कर रहे हैं होली तो बस एक्चुअली प्रमोशन ही चल रहा है गैंग ऑफ घोष्ट का तो कुछ ना कुछ होली से कनेक्टेड गैंग ऑफ घोष्ट का भी चल रहा है सर में है ना ऑफ कोर्स शबाना के घर जान की कुटीर की होली तो कोई मैं कभी मिस करता ही नहीं हूँ जावेद साहब शबाना बाबा तनवी है ना होली मैं हूँ सतीश कौशिक और होली की सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएँ गुलाल से खेलो पानी से मत खेलो थैंक यू सो मच सर बासुदा के बारे में ये कहूँगा कि मैं उनका बहुत बहुत बड़ा फ़ैन हूँ और जितना भी उन्होंने पिक्चरें बनाई हैं चाहे बातों बातों में रजनी गंदा पिया का घर चिकचोर बहुत अलग टाइप का सिनेमा बनाया है और मेरे ख्याल से बासु चटर्जी का जो इंस्पिरेशन रहा है वो पूरे पूरे जो है एक मैं कहूँगा कि एक सेवेंटीज़ का जो मिडिल क्लास हम कहेंगे छोटी छोटी बात छोटी सी बात की बात हम करेंगे तो हमेशा ही रहा है लोगों के तरफ के हम जो एक आम आदमी की बात करते हैं या एक मिडिल क्लास फैमिली की बात करते हैं वो बासुदा ने अपनी पिक्चर से दिखाया है हमेशा और मेरे ख्याल से बासुदा का जो कंट्रीब्यूशन है हिंदुस्तानी सिनेमा में जो आम आदमी की तरफ वो बहुत ही कमाल का है और मुझे इस बात की खुशी हुई है कि दूरदर्शन जो है उनकी पिक्चर को दिखाया जा रहा है और मेरे ख्याल से आज के जनरेशन को ज़रूर बासुदा की पिक्चर देखनी चाहिए क्योंकि कुछ मॉरल वैल्यूज़ एथिक्स जो है वो बासुदा ने अपनी पिक्चर में हमेशा छोड़ा है एक एक उनका टच हमेशा रहा है और मुझे इस बात की खुशी हो रही है कि जी उनको इस तरह से एक ट्रिब्यूट दे रहा है ओके बासुदा की अगर शौकीन की बात करी जाए एक अपने आप में आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स कॉमेडी थी जहाँ दादा मुनी उत्पल दत्त साहब ए के हेंगल साहब उस वक्त में इस तरह की नायाब सोच जहाँ थोड़ा बोल्डनेस भी थी बहुत बहुत मेरे ख्याल से वो अपने आप में बहुत अलग है क्योंकि शौकीन जैसी एक फिल्म थी वो टाइम एडल्ट फिल्म थी ये और तीन बुजुर्ग की कहानी थी ये कि एक लड़की पे उनका दिल आ जाता है तो मेरे ख्याल से वो अपने आप में एक एक टंग एंड चीक कॉमेडी था उसका और मैंने शौकीन कम से कम दस पंद्रह बार देखी है और इस बात की खुशी होती है कि बासुदा ने इतने सालों में इतना काम किया है इतना अलग अलग टाइप का सिनेमा बनाया है 
वो अपने आप में बड़ी बात है मैंने कहा कि शौकीन उस टाइम का सिनेमा है जब मेरे ख्याल से लोग ऐसी चीज़ें बात करने में भी या किसी को बोलने में भी परेश करते थे लेकिन उस वक्त बासुदा ने इस तरह की अहेड ऑफ टाइम फिल्म में कहूँगा कि तीन जो बुज़ुर्ग है वो एक लड़की के पीछे दीवाने हो जाते हैं जो एक टंग जी की उम्र है वो बहुत कमाल का रखा था और इतना अच्छा उन्होंने जस्टिफाई किया उस फिल्म को मैंने वो लैंडमार्क सिनेमा रहा है बासुजा की हर फिल्म में कहूँगा कि लैंडमार्क सिनेमा है और जितने आज के निर्देशक हैं फिल्म मेकर्स हैं उनके लिए एक सीख है बासुजा की फिल्म में ओके जैसे आपने आखिर हमने बहुत मरतबा देखी है शौकीन कोई खास सीन आपको याद हो कई चीज़ें मुझे याद है आ, लेकिन पिया का घर का ये जीवन है गाना मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लगा कंगना कैन डू द बाइट प्लीज देखिए देखिए जी हमारे लिए हम लोग अभी भी ऐसा लगा जैसे बादलों पे चल रहे हैं अभी भी मेरे फ्रेंड्स फोन कर रहे हैं कह रहे हैं कि टिकट ही नहीं मिल रही है और सब हाउसफुल है लोगों ने मल्टीप्लेक्सेस में भी सिंगल स्क्रीन के जैसे सीटियाँ मारना और तालियां मारना शुरू कर दिया है तो हमारे लिए बहुत ओवरवेलमिंग फीलिंग है और वी होल टीम इज़ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी फॉर द सक्सेस ऑफ फिल्म हम लोग सब बहुत खुश हैं एंड वी होप के जैसा कि ये फिल्म बहुत ही ज़रूरी है हमारे देश के लिए और हमारे हमारी जनरेशन के लिए तो आई होप एवरी वन गेट्स टू सी इट एंड इन्जॉय इन माई करियर येस कोर्स इट्स अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फिल्म या मुझे वैसे तो मुझे बहुत कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स मिले हैं लेकिन सबसे अच्छा कॉम्प्लीमेंट मैं मानूंगी जो मुझे मिस्टर अमिताभ बच्चन ने अपने हाथों से लिख के लेटर भेजा और जिसमें उन्होंने बहुत ही बहुत ही अच्छे शब्द लिखे हैं मेरे परफॉर्मेंस के बारे में उसे उसे पढ़ के मेरी आंखों से पानी आ गया और मैं पूरी सुबह रो रही थी बिकॉज ही वॉज सो काइंड एंड सो ग्रेशियस एंड सो कर्टियस एंड आई थिंक मेरा उनके लिए जो रिस्पेक्ट था वो थाउजेंड फोल जो है वो बढ़ गया है उन्होंने मैं लिखा था लेकिन आई कॉन्ट रिली ओके फाइन लाइम इट इज रीड ओके आई जस्ट रीड द फर्स्ट लाइन योर कंप्लीट डिसबिलीव ऑफ अ कैमरा इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज एन अकम्पलिशमेंट ऑल आर्टिस्ट ट्राई फॉर दैट यू अचीव विद दिस unrestricted abandon in queen makes it exceptional with great admiration and love amitabh so i mean i was like oh my god i can't believe this yeah. thank you darshakon ko holi ki bahut bahut shubh kamnaye आठवीं साल गिरा पे मुबारक
uh, moment, uh, but mostly because it's a real wonder to experience such a fascinating and vibrant country as India. Uh, I'm slightly ashamed and bashful to say that actually this is my first visit to India, um, but uh, rest assured that it's an incredibly important market. I've been asked, I've been asked that I hardly go to events and how come I'm here. It is one, one very rare day that I have got a day off or rather night off uh, because we've been shooting continuously without a break for a long, long time, as you may know. And uh, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, being a regular visit, a visitor to the, to the British Isles, um, we've always been welcomed with so much of warmth and, and uh, hospitality and literally a red carpet has been you know, laid out for us. And when, when you're invited, one has to be, one, one has to uh, be, be part of a wonderful evening like this. They've always, we've shot so many films uh, in England and in Scotland and uh, all over that uh, the experience has always been, uh, as we would say in India, tip top. So, uh, it's a tip-top evening. When I shooting, I didn't think that line will listen to so much. But, yes, it's a tip-top evening. I will fight in the election. 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 But, I will fight in the election. But, I will fight in the election. अरे यार इलेक्शन की कहाँ बात कर रहे हैं आपको? लेकिन हमारे देश में एक हिस्ट्री बहुत कमाल की है। We have got a great history and a great culture and the day young people understand that we come from a great heritage, we will be a different country. We try to modernize our country, very good, we must move with the times. But we have to, we have to seek inspiration from our culture and our heritage, which I don't think many countries in this world have, like we have. We seem to ignore it. And I think even in politics, we have had the great, greatest politicians uh, in, in history, Chanakya for one. If you just take some, uh, read five chapters of uh, Chanakya, uh, we are fine. No problem. Who should be a Prime Minister of India? Who should be? Helen Brown is a picture of location for the song. So please tell me, can you tell me which part of Britain this is? Someone who will... It's a very tough question. I won't give you a name if that's what you're asking for. There's, yeah, yeah. I won't even say that. No, that will be that. That's not the right right answer. Uh, but yes, if somebody can be a visual yes. flesh right. and bones version of Bhutnath, then yes, he should be the prime minister of India. But in flesh and bones. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Holi ka plans to hai. Hum jayenge. Bhot saare friends hai hamare film industry mein jo Holi bhot kamal se ke ka manate. But I genuinely feel uh, any festival, any festival, should be celebrated uh, safely and ecologically. I think ये थोड़ा सोच समझ के होली या दिवाली या जो भी कोई फेस्टिवल हो हम लोग मनाएंगे, but safely and ecologically. मुझे थोड़ा कभी-कभी दुख होता है when I see that people get injured during a festival, get burnt. The fumes of firecrackers you breathe in is like smoking a hundred cigarettes a day. It's a, it's a, um, uh, holy colors are not, may, may not be really good for your skin. So I say, uh, let's have colors on the walls and let's have, let's have one pichkari of water on your face.
and that's the way to, to celebrate Holi. Take, you know, I, I, I feel a little bit of color is fine, but be, be safe, especially with the children. People throw balloons and things. I don't, I don't quite care for that. For the audience, uh, I feel I have a table for you today. So I am the president of a country. So I am a diplomat. I am using my hands and my hands. But my wishes to the audience is be proud of your heritage. Be, be, be proud of your country. And never lose hope even though it may seem at lo in a lot of instances that we are in a limbo in a state of limbo. We are not. We've got lots to look forward to. Thank you. Shamshad TV ko aatvi saal gira pe mubarak ho. Hi, I'm Bhaman Irani. I'm talking about aatvi saal pe Shamshad TV ka bhaat bhaat mubarak ho. Statesman. I wish you all a happy and safe holiday. Thank you. everyone. Thank you, Mr. High Commissioner, for calling us here. Bollywood and Britain go a long way now. Things have changed culturally. Cinema has brought the countries together in a bigger, bigger, bigger way. It was my connection with Britain in terms of cinema is very, very interesting because I've shot three films there as an actor. The best was a British film called Brick Lane, which was a very important film made in Britain by British people. And uh, it was directed by a very talented director who was a BAFTA award winner, Sarah Gavron and produced by a very famous producer, Alison Owen. And I must tell you that I had a great time shooting the film there. It was my first English language film. I'm a theater actor, but I've done plays in Hindi. I've never spoken English as such, neither in a play or a film. My English was really, really bad, but thanks to Brick Lane, that I could utter some words of English. It is because that I had an opportunity when I read the script. My role was quite important and I thought that I must first of all chew this line so much that somebody wakes me up from the sleep, I should utter those lines immediately. And that is what happened. Thanks to Regent's Park, where I stayed near Great Portland Street, very nice hotel where it was a um, two-room suite which producers have given me. When we, become, when we were actor, you can throw tantrums and my tantrum was accepted that I, I needed a bigger place to stay, you know. And I used to walk in Regents Park and I used to keep on walking and learning my lines. You know, and Regents Park's atmosphere the whole smell, the air, the freshness, the oxygen gave me so much confidence that I learned all of my lines of the whole film in Regent's Park. And sometimes when I used to walk, people used to look at me as some madman is walking, he's speaking to himself, you know. But that was uh, my uh, way of uh, learning lines like a theater actor. But the best thing which I liked was the professionalism which I learned a lot from, from the unit, the people who were involved in the film, the kind of spick and span timing and 
everything was so perfect, the scheduling. If 7 o'clock the car has to come to pick you up, you have to be there at, you know, quarter to 7 down in the hotel so that you wait for the car, car will not wait for you. you know. That was the professionalism. You, you enter into the studio, you could hear the assistant telling, right from my car, Mr. Kaushik is entering into the studio, you know, and you are taken to the costume room or makeup room. That was a lovely studio, three mill studio, which is located in East London, and it has a great ambiance. If people in Bombay know Mukesh Mills, it is a better version of Mukesh Mills, and in this, that mill only, a very beautiful studio actually has been constructed. And we shot whole Brick Lane there, the, the set portions actually we shot there. So my whole experience of Brick Lane, I remember shooting, you know, doing 15 days of rehearsals, going to East London, talking to those Bangladeshi guys, going to those restaurants, taking their accent because I played a uh, East Bengali, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a Bengali character in the film. He was living in uh, Britain for the last 30 years. So I had to get that accent and people were so, so helpful. Then I had an English diction teacher who will come and correct my English language that, you know, it is not with, it is with. You know, those kind of little, little things. So th that whole thing of getting to know Britain, getting to know people was amazing. And that is why I could give a perform performance which was liked by everyone. I got raving reviews and I can't forget my first premiere in Leicester Square in, in the theater there where huge crowd was there and in London Film Festival the film got standing ovation and it was appreciated so much. So thank you Britain, thank you all the people there. It was my good luck. I've shot other films also, Hindi movies like Umar I've shot there as an actor. I've shot recently a film called Promise Dad, which is which stars me in a lead role and all British actors are there. I shot in Lee Valley. I shot on Haynes on uh, uh, Henley on Haynes. What was the name? Yeah, Henley on Thames. Fantastic location. You know, it's a superb location. So it is. that was my third film. I've just finished that film and it will be ready. So thank you. Thank you very much. It was a great experience with Britain and Brick Lane. And this evening is lovely. Thank you, lady. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the audiovisual, as promised, let's take a look at it. Visit Britain is, is humbled and proud to honor the legendary man, the late Sri Yash Chopra, for all his contribution in showcasing Britain through his much-loved film. Arousing a deep interest in the destination as a must-visit tourist destination for millions of die-hard Bollywood fans. We would be highly obliged if Mrs. Pamela Chopra joined us on stage to accept this felicitation on his behalf. <laughs>
He had been almost, you can say, from the south to the north. And he shot in many places, so many places he did not shoot them. But he had explored it all. And he used to always find that the best time to go to London, to England to shoot, is the summers, because the days are so long. That you can shoot from morning almost till 8 or 9 o'clock at night. And he used to find that very fascinating. And uh, he used to get his work done much faster than he would have it done any other time. It's not that he would be only in summer, he'd been in winter also. In his latest film, he had shot in winter as well and uh, had to fight against the light always. And, uh, but he enjoyed every moment of it. I mean, I'm sure he's up there and he's been very happy that he's been remembered in such a nice way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, quickly wait. Shamshad TV, Shamshad TV, Art Mubarak. Hi, I'm Shamshad TV, Art Hi, I'm Shamshad TV, Art Mubarak. 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 Shamshad TV, Art Mubarak.